We live? We rocking? Let's get it. It is Monday. If y'all were following my IG, y'all heard me talk about it. This is the first end of the first quarter, officially. First quarter is done. If you don't know, there's four quarters in a year. If you don't know that, then you're probably broke. <laughs> Off the rip. If you don't know there's four quarters in a year, then you're probably shaking it rough. But we actually made it out of the first quarter. Give yourself a pat on the back. And we're actually starting to get decent weather outside. It's starting to look a little good. It's starting to get warm. I've seen people in shorts today. I wore shorts yesterday. I was not begging for the weather. I wore shorts yesterday. At what time? I wore shorts yesterday. Because you know... It got cold, but I wore shorts yesterday. No, trust me. I had on jogging pants. Me put on pants because me not up here. You know what I'm saying? Truthfully, the way the way the weather is, I'm not like lucky. Lucky it's 19 degrees today, or else I'd be have my long johns on still. <laughs> nah, man, you. I don't know. I think with the weather, we're deprived hard for good weather, man. Listen, especially if you went away during the cold time like I did, and then you come back. And it's like you're in the, it's Long John City. Long John, full body armor under, <laughs> underneath. Nah, listen, you think with the weather, I just think we're heavily deprived for good weather. Because I always ask myself, what would Toronto be like if we had good weather all year round? Because I, I think a lot of the places that get a lot of props and big up and they talk about it highly, they just have good weather all year long. Yeah. yeah. And that's the only reason why... They're cool. And, and, and if other places had good weather all year long, they'll be just as cool. And look how popping Toronto is in the summertime. And how long yeah. is our summer? Three months? Two? I, I mean, give or take the snowy days <laughs> in the summer. All right, there you go. I mean, it's crazy. This weather here is nuts. Like, it's at the point now when there's a nice day, I'm like, somebody, some very important person ordered this weather because the, they be changing the weather. They can control things. That's why I think for us to be able, we have to promote our opportunity. Segway, free promotion. July 20th. Have something in the works coming up, guys. You guys have to pay stay attention. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Stay tuned, stay tuned. July 20th, we have something in the works. This is much more than a show, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people do a lot of talking. We actually are going to be doing some doing. <laughs> so I thought you were going to say hosting. Yeah, but I mean, doing. Verb, we are going to be doing... So what, you want to tell them what we're going to be doing? No, I don't want to tell them what we're going to be doing. All right, well, just know that we will be having an event, and we would love for you to come on out and support because all our events are going to be lit, like two lit brothers doing lit things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have a lot more information we're going to give you all, but just know for now, keep yeah, that date yeah. open. July 20th, we have something really all in the right? works to really, really, you know? And remember, if you want to be on the show, DM... Pick up and drop DM offs. This guy. Or DM um, Jay Walsh on Facebook, Frosty Raw on Instagram. Um, and we can um, figure out how we're going to get you on because we talk to real people doing real things. All right? Positivity all the way, right? That's Always. What's positivity gets you further than negativity. Yes, yes. Always. Yes, yes. All right? So, you know, shout out all my people on the live. Right? Big up yourself. You ain't got more people than me. Mm -hmm. Do you? Do yeah, I? You do. No, you don't. It's fluctuating. It's fluctuating. It's fluctuating. We, always, we always argue to who gets more people on their live stream. We, we, know, we know it's lunchtime. Lunchtime's over. Some of y'all have a, a long lunch. You got more unemployed people on your side than mine. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. My people work. No, so my people no, see no, no. it after. I actually have more entrepreneurs on my line. So they got, they That's what they for what they want followers. My people, y'all got jobs. I respect y'all. Hey, man. If you're at the job, check this out. When you're checking this out after work tonight, um, big up yourself, but you know, the, the entrepreneurs, um, they are able to go on their phones whenever they want to, you know, it's their loss if they're doing something not good with their time, you know what I'm saying? But big up yourself if you're an entrepreneur out there anywhere you is. Or unemployed, one of the two, nothing wrong with you, shops out. Yes, if you're, <laughs> if you're unemployed and an entrepreneur, nothing wrong with you, but if you're unemployed and not doing nothing, not an entrepreneur, not, no, I'm It's okay, shy. as long as you got a plan. Yeah, and that's what it is. As long as you got a plan, you're good to go. You're you rocking. Go listen to some old school music if you like that. Get up, get out, and get something. Don't let the days of your life pass you by. Yo, go research that. Ask your mom, ask your dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. And let's, um, that's a good segue um, in terms of uh, mom and dad generation. Um, a lot of things went down this um, past week um, that we didn't get at. So first thing, what was the first thing? Was it the banning? Uh, banning of Minister Louis Farrakhan. Oh, you want to go light first? Let's go light. Let's go All light. Right. Let's go light. So go light. light would be the Raptors finally um, did what they're supposed to do and um, tied up the series. I am unhappy with that because I'm saying Kawhi Leonard is playing amazing. Oh. And the problem is, is that... Give the ball. Will. Will. No, no, no. Will. no. That's, not, that's not the problem. The problem is he's playing so good. And everyone else around him is playing so crappy. The only thing that's going to happen is he's going to leave. Yes, that definitely looks like the case. Um, because personally, I wouldn't stay. I wouldn't stay either. I mean, what about... And in these day and ages, it's not just about this slave ball player that's just playing ball for the team. It's about the business side of it. How long are you going to be staying in the league? How about your health? If he's putting in this amount of effort every year, how long is he really going to stay in the league? Right? Oh, yeah. that's what, But he, as you see, you know why he could play like this in the playoffs? Out of 82 games, he plays a whopping 41. A lie. He only plays every other game. Does not wow. play back-to-backs. Wow. So a lot of you do not know that quite Leonard out of 82 games, he plays half. That's why for you to see him do this in the postseason is not a surprise. Okay. But most people will forget that point. Oh, that is, that is a fact that you don't get too often like you know they, the game the, the announcers give you all kind of useless facts they don't say that no like, those are the bookie stats yeah. you get those for your bookie right <laughs> <laughs> those are the stats your bookie you gave you you're going to do the pro line yeah pro line you lining line. up I'm, pro I'm the guy talking to the crazy guy yeah. in the, in the uh, miami dolphins hat you right? know what i'm talking at the, at the i'm talking to that guy he's giving me all my picks 8 a.m on sunday morning <laughs> In the convenience store. Tell him again, and right that, there. You know, he's saying, man has, man has his Timmy's. Good. With, besides the Raptors playing well. But, but hold on, but hold on. I have to say, we'll just, let's touch on Kyle Larry. Oh, his, Toronto, you guys are horrible fans. His inability. See, there you go. I'm a horrible fan. I am, because I'm from Toronto. Otherwise known as the Hatrix. I can say it when I'm a hater. I'm a hater, man. Straight. This guy is fresh out the hate tricks. I keep hater, telling man. you. And, and guess what? I can admit it. Kyle Lowry, disappointed. I mean, it's all about heart now. It's all about heart. I mean, if Kawhi can't kickstart the energy on the team, like, what? I don't understand. I don't, maybe there's some NBA rule that we don't know that... I like Kawhi Leonard. I mean, no, I like uh, Kyle Lowry. He's just... Not a scorer. He's never been a scorer. We're asking him to score. He, that's not him. Toronto fans, um, we root for you as soon as you play bad. We say your shit, trade you. We're, the only fans worse than us are New York Knicks fans. And you see where they're at. Yeah, so the, the only fan base that like is more is more like turn on you fast is Toronto fans. Well, I mean, listen, I'll tell you right now. That psychology as a, as a city would probably come from the Leafs losing so much. Right? We still and they're and still the most expensive team to watch. So uh, their seats are always full. That's what I'm saying. And this so. is where Toronto is is was heading, and and you know I like the the movement Toronto's made. Hey, listen, all I want to do is go where we haven't gone before with Toronto, which is a championship. And, and I'm saying we, even though it's not my business, I don't make any money from the Raptors, but you know, as a Torontonian, as a Torontonian, and and then just in having fun sake, um, yeah. We need to get to the finals. I, I don't, we don't have to win the finals, but we need to get to the finals. Not the Eastern Conference finals, but the NBA finals. Have we ever been to the Eastern Conference finals? No. But like I'm saying. And this guy is saying, you're not even want that. You want NBA okay, because, finals. Because it's been analyzed and talked about. So like, that's what I want. And I can see, and I can see you that we can be Philly. You have championship aspirations. And, and isn't Siakam injured? So, no, he's playing. So, you really okay. think Toronto has a chance to beat Boston Celtics or Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, my gosh. I, I feel they have a monster. If if they beat Philly. They're gone? They're if they gone. beat Philly, they're gonna, the people that need to step up will. I think Philly's the much. And if we beat Philly, it's clear. Done. Wow. Milwaukee is 
Remember, you Phoenix heard it Phoenix. here first. Remember. That's my says, pick. My pick. He says, if Toronto beats Philly, we're automatically in the NBA Finals. I do want to look yeah. at my money from this guy because I did lose money to him. Remember, yes. the time was um, Jesse Smollett. Yes. And I said, I believe him. And, and that's how it off. is. Can you believe that money is still on the table? I put it right back. There it is. It's on the table. There you go. <laughs> We still have a we still have we still have a bet issue because I, I still took a loss. So hold on. So what's the bet? What's the bet? If the Raptors win Philadelphia 76ers, they automatically are in the NBA finals. Okay, so cakewalk. So that's how I win. You're so, saying sweet. How no, I no, know. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. You see, this is why we have these general bets. Anyways, <laughs> listen. The bet can be if 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 they win the next series to go to the finals, I win the bet. Okay. If they lose the next series, and we're talking as if they're done with Philly. I know. I know. It's 2-2. I know. <laughs> and that shows that what kind of diehard Torontonian I am. Toronto fans are crazy. That's all it shows you. Six, Toronto fans are crazy. 4-1-6. The 4-16. Toronto City. fans are crazy. But Yo. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with your pick. I hope I win this bet. That's all I'm saying. All right. All right. All right. Moving on. What are you going to? Um, Faircon. Ban. How they going back? How? Nobody knows Farrakhan's banned from Instagram. Did no you, one knows. Did you guys know that Louis Farrakhan, the leader of the uh, Nation of Islam, is banned from Facebook and Instagram? No one knows. No one knows. I think people know. No it's, one knows. It, it was pretty big news on Instagram. It was? And, yeah, a lot of people. Most you know. people follow Shader. <laughs> no. Yo, listen, man. A lot of people follow, like, you know, Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> okay. I you think I, I think news outlets have gone cheesy. Oh. I think everyone is copying. Remember the National Enquirer? Yes. Remember when you were a kid? Fake and news. That's and what your fake mom news is. With the grocery shopping, and you'll be in the cash out line, and they'll have, like, chocolate bars. But then there'll be magazines with the most craziest things on the cover. Right. And you couldn't help but pick the cover. You couldn't help but pick up this magazine because the cover was so. What in the world is this? And now I find Rap Shade Disney. Room. Yeah. What is it? All these media sites. It's clickbait. Because you have to remember when Nipsey Hussle died, there was people showing that. Yes. Saying, see this footage. Yes. So you have to think about it. Why would you want to see? But I'm telling you. The job. Let me just put that out there. Every time you witness a, a killing or some type of violence online, that is like you're right there. You are witnessing that. You're getting the same trauma as if you were right there. So it's no different in terms of your body chemistry. So make sure you know that every time they put something out there, that's to distract us and make us feel. Well, I, I, I just, I totally agree with you. I just say it's like, you have to be first, not right. That's the time we're in. It's not about you being right. Exactly. You can come with information exactly. and your information is right. But if I come with the same information wrong but first, yeah. I get all the attention. Yeah. And that's just the narrative of, I think, like um, news outlets and like things of those. Like, I, think, I, I think the way it's going. So most people, if you ask them, do they know that the minister of um, the nation of Islam... If the if you know the nation of Islam, if he was, if he was um banned from Instagram, I don't think people know. My opinion. I, I think that because that's how I knew because a lot of people were hitting me up with all this information about Louis Farrakhan getting banned from Facebook and. What I think I it's because you have that network of people. Yeah, you have that exactly. network of people yeah. that is aware and yeah, exactly. they know of those things. I got a lot of woke individuals. Is is oh being is being God, is woke even being woke or is woke even fake now? It's because every time you see when you're sleeping, and then you open your eyes and you get that's you woke. But you woke up. <laughs> is, is is there fake woke? Hell yeah, there's fake woke. There's like there's fake dread, mock the dread. Um, that's what it is now. Like I, I don't even I don't even. It used to be a time when I saw rock, anybody with dreads. Was a I said Rastafari and they said blessed love. You understand? Now, I'm not a roster, man. I'm not, I'm not a roster. But, all right. Yeah, I, I'm I, just saying. So, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I, I, I can see where you're coming from with, with, with that. That's a big... Right? So, the fake walkers are the ones who showed up at Black Panther, Wakanda, 
forever. They never had nothing to do with Marvel. They're not into comic books, but they went to Wakanda forever. And then they showed up to the Avengers Endgame and didn't get what they wanted because their Black Panther was, they just fished you. They fished you out. But these, a lot of these people that went Wakanda forever and had all this black pride did not go to watch Birth of a Nation, the story of Nat Turner, right? And that was black produced, black, all black, black, black. Marvel got all the money and they hired everybody. So basically, you guys supported a factory that hired all black workers, right? And that's why I say about the whole fake, the fake woke. And that's, that's the fake woke. And um, I mean, everybody's in a development stage. A lot of people, we're all in a, in a development stage. So there's different stages of woke, right? People ju just know about, you know, that Christopher Columbus didn't discover North America. They're just figuring true. this out right now. So there's different stages, that's all. That's and, true. And, and, but there's a lot of people who just even know about Louis Farrakhan that heard about it and this, you know, they get it on their timeline, they send it off because they know Louis Farrakhan's an important person to a lot of no, people. No, no cap. Louis Farrakhan is, is if, if it's, it's crazy because a lot of people still won't know who he is because like I say, um, we get a lot of our news from, from, from like, yeah, like I say, the Shade Room Baller Alert. Like that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. that is a lot of our, uh, Twitter, Twitter tells us our news. Yeah, it's all about easy fluff. Things that don't really force you to have to think hard this day. You know what I'm saying? So and that's the problem. You see, all kind of, all kind of guests. Who me? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Jesse always oh, interactive. To watch a black on black crime movie. That about, yeah. I'm telling you. What, 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 what is that? That's Black Panther. The black on black crime. <laughs> um. Uh, and that's what, it, that's what he's saying. He's saying that Black Panther did that to us. You know what I'm saying? It, and also what, it, what Black Panther did too was, you know, it erased the, the memory of the Black Panther party. Well, you know no, I think, I think the one thing that I like what it did is that Black Panther showed that it, you could mobilize people. We as a people, when we want to all link up, go somewhere, or when we all want to like I said, mobilize and be at one space one time, we could. That also generates a lot of things. Power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. energy, common, you know, we're everyone there on a common goal, common thought. So for, we could do it for a movie. We could do that for a lot more. It's true. And, and but, I, mean, I, I just say it's stuck. Right. It's you, hard. It is positive. That it's, just took hard. The it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to find right. what we're interested in. It's weird. It's like we're yeah. interested in like a comic book movie. It's, it's, I think what it is is that we're sick, we're sick people. We're sick people. This case. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, look how much people are talking about mental health nowadays. It's, it's so, the, the government knows it. That's why they're pouring all this funding into mental health. Have people just started to get mental health? No, but they, they're, they're starting, I guarantee that the, the, the government or the people that research this are realizing that mental health is an issue. When you see funding going out about a certain thing, that's when they know that it's an issue. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I like that. All Black Panther did was mobilize us to spend our money with them. I, at least, That's what he said. I think in our, out of that, the good thing I would take is that at least we were able to be mobilized. Yeah, at, okay. <laughs> at least so, we yeah. like, it's just weird. It's hey, like us as a harm people. Harm reduction, let's say harm reduction. And instead of us being scattered, we all went to see one movie. Can we boycott somebody? together like how we went to see uh, Black Panther? Well, I don't know. Well, could we do the same when someone's opening up a bakery? Oh, a, a, a or black someone, business. Or someone's opening up a business. Yeah, or, can we all mobilize in Wakanda forever, those those black businesses? Because uh, you have to understand, movie tickets ain't cheap. Movie ain't cheap. Movie ain't cheap. Back when I was like a Plus young popcorn, someone. popcorn, the little the, the M&M's. Yo, movie theater ain't when, cheap. You bringing the kids? Oh, double it. That, yeah, movies ain't cheap, and if you want to reserve your seat now, now they got seats you can recline. VIP, your movie, triple A. Your movie might be uh, 3D. So I think if we could just put the same energy behind those type of things, yeah, but like I always say, the reason why I don't think it could happen is because we're in a fast time right now. Yeah. It's a fast, rapid time we're living in, so because everything's going so fast, 
we're not, if you're not really deep or an in-depth person, you're not going to catch the narrative of majority of what's happening out here. It's true. Because it's fast. It's, it's fast. True. You see, every time you go on your phone, there's a new update, new update, new update, new update. Look, every like, time you skim, yeah. you're being barraged with so much information, not realizing none of the information actually has any content. None. It's just... Fluff. It is the same thing if they were to post... Today I lost my car keys. But this is what is it's the also same, happening it's just the news. with the addiction to the internet because that's what Instagram is. That's what Facebook is. You're scrolling, scrolling to all this. It's really other people's fluff. You're, it's because everybody's what, what they call. Um, shout out Howie. Um, citizen journalist. But right? that, I think that, but they already, they already came out with a study and it says Instagram releases on, um, what is it called? I um, mean, the same thing when you eat chocolate, the, the feel the endorphins. good. Yeah, the endorphins. When you see 30 people like something, you feel good. Mm-hmm. Now, when you see 300 people like that same thing, you feel very good. When you see 1,000, you're elated. Ah, <laughs> so now you have to take in. It's an addiction. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the new, like, that's the new oh, overpowering even, drug right now. I even found out that the, 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 the part of your brain that tells yourself that you're hungry is occupied when you're playing video games or scrolling through Instagram or... Yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of people. That part that you, you, you'll be there, there's people Ooh. that be up most, all night. Most parents could speak to a testament. Kids never ever come to you and say they're hungry when they're playing. No, it's exactly it's, when you the tell playing's them done. Time, it's time to turn it off. Because now that the playing is done, this kicks in, now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. And a lot of people will just be like, no, guy, you're bad. No, he's really hungry. No, <laughs> no, yeah. And then... Parents have to take a little bit of responsibility. You let the youth play the whole day, <laughs> and the man never, the, the kid never got up. Yeah, but that's kind of it's, it's common things as adults. The adults do the same thing. And I tell people another thing Instagram's going through right now is that people feel there's this competition that people are running with people they don't know. <laughs> no, you're laughing. You're no, laughing. It's so true. Your people are running competition so with true. people they don't know. The person they're in competition with, they don't know that it's a competition. The right. person doesn't know you exist. Oh. And then people kind of feel jaded or upset based on what they're seeing you post. So because they're running competition. A lot of people, people are not even aware sometimes. You're, you're on a, a, a whole different... You're going through a battle with someone. Yeah. That's why sometimes a lot of people are not aware. Yeah. You may post something and then maybe a week or two later, someone else on your timeline posting something very similar mm. I don't want you to think that's coincidental uh, and and even so for me personally I don't care especially if I'm posting some some motivational pos- or something true and they post it too there's not I'm just, uh, but yeah I most of the time I don't think like that. I don't think that's how the internet works most of the time I think people just people want to post I'm on vacation I'm on trips or I'm look at this restaurant I'm eating at it yeah look at people this wanna, plate of food yeah I people I do it too sometimes. people want to show the glamorous life like I don't eat out too much people so when I eat out I'm like this food actually tasted good out here in Babylon <laughs> you know what I'm saying okay <laughs> keep calling yo you're gonna offend people by calling what? it Babylon what when you're eating out fast food uh, somebody else is cooking for you you know what I mean yeah man you all know who you are. <laughs> 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 Yo, my God. What do you want to last number at least? Um, were we, were we going to talk about the teachers and the, and the teachers' strike? I mean, not the strike, but um, Rob Ford, uh, Doug Ford. Downsizing on the teachers? Cutting up, cutting up the, the TDSB. Oh, and you have a problem with that? Why? Uh, I, don't, I, I haven't said we're going to talk about that. I didn't say I had a problem with it. Like... I okay, hold on, because I I actually want I want to restart my feed because I actually I'm not for it, but I'll let you know. What I went through the school system, and and I'm letting you know that there, it's crazy that there's never been a shortage of teachers, but there was still no work getting done ever, ever ever, like there was never a time when work was getting done. No, but that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, that's why I'm like, nah. The, the whole thing is, is whether it's conservative, liberal, NDP, the right or the left, they're all above us. And I say us meaning um, m- middle class, lower class. 
right? And in that, that being said, um, politicians, I, I wonder, I wonder if NDP, not that I wonder, I'm going to ask the question, do you think that people in the NDP party vote NDP? Wow. Or do they vote in their uh, class? So, you know, upper class, if you look at the platforms, you have to understand the party's platforms. So that's some research for a lot of you guys who care about this subject to go do. Find out what the conservative party's platform is. And the platform just means what they stand for and if they get elected, what they're going to be doing. I okay? think Doug Ford didn't come out of the dark with any of this. I think people kind of had an idea of Knew exactly what this guy was on. Uh, I did. I, I, I think if you didn't know what Doug Ford was on, then you do not know the Fords. That's why I didn't vote for him. Once I don't vote for conservative party. Unfor right? Unfortunately, I don't vote, but I don't have a problem with how Doug Ford goes about things because it's sad to say... There's two types of people we get in office. Sometimes you get a politician. Mm -hmm. Politicians are like a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get a businessman. Yes, that's um, our mayor right now. Yeah. He's a businessman. Yeah, so a businessman is going to run it like a business. Yeah. A politician, he's going to run it based on policy. Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. allowed, what's not allowed. Yeah. And they're going to break rules. And, and, and Doug Ford gonna, is a businessman. He's a businessman. So to him, the dollar sign is always what's key, the dollar sign. That's why I say to him, so he does um, have a lot of traits. He reminds me of the, um, Donald Trump, minus the racism, I say. Uh, yeah, yeah. Donald Trump minus the racism. Yeah, and yeah. The prejudice minus the, and the, the show on racism. We don't know. We don't know. And I could only go off what I see. Yeah, because we don't know so what with I see. Because he's smart. He's smarter than Rob, and he's smarter than Trump. Because he doesn't show... What if he doesn't have nothing? What if he him. doesn't have nothing? To show? And then, and that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. <laughs> There's still that option where it's like maybe you just, you know, maybe if that's the case. Then yeah, you pass, know, you pass. You know, <laughs> still watching that match. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> yo. Yeah. How yo, would you? I go back to the famous words from a movie that I love, Top Shotters. You see a police and a politician. We not deal with them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, with that, yeah. bro, listen. Yeah, go check out, go check out Top Shotters, movie pick of the week. <laughs> Old school movie pick. <laughs> Top Shotters. Don't know, y'all. This guy. Yeah, we, we, what, what, time? Luck? No. Yo, still, I'm talking to my people still. Yeah. Marcia, I see you, girl. See you, girl. Oh, let me pick up all the people that's watching the show. We in the building. Baba San Kofa, I'm worried I say, yo, I call him Baba now, you know, guys. Yeah, I get there. I get there. Baba, yeah. Don't know. Miss Ghetto Stories, be with yourself. It's always a pleasure. Always, 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 always. And we got work to do in the Ghetto always. Stories. Deep, deep, deep into the Ghetto Stories. Always, You know always. what I'm saying? Because, you know, we got a lot of people from underprivileged or at risk or marginalized marginalized is what they use now neighborhoods and areas that you know rise up like a like a rose and through concrete you know what i'm saying um shout out my angelo um yeah it's what it is man um it's, it's monday it's a beautiful day if you ain't outside go outside that's why we're wrapping it up so we can go outside yeah go outside, <laughs> go outside. all right Big up all my peoples in the fight, the struggle for justice and 